Okay, just a quick update. Here we are with the table in place. And Donna got a new piece of art to go in the background there. That's a nice farmhouse look for her farmhouse kitchen. So that's kind of cool. And then I wanted to show you this because look at this little character right there. Remember that little spice I was showing you growing up there and I didn't know if it was basil or rosemary or whatever. I still don't know what it, still don't know what it is, but here's the good news. Look how big it's getting. And like earlier, it was big enough to maybe like spice a cookie. Now you could spice maybe, I don't know, an ice cream cone or maybe, maybe a cupcake or something. Hey, you could be larger than life. Hello, and welcome to Rambling On RV. Uh, one of our last few days that we have in this house, uh, so I thought I would sit out by the pool for the last time, probably. Uh, just wanted to welcome you and tell you to, I hope you enjoy this video this week. Uh, it's a whole little saga of me trying to get a solar panel rigged up on top of our RV. Um, you'll see that I tried several different iterations and uh, I finally landed on one that worked. Um, I enjoy that kind of thing. I like to try to make things like that work, uh, especially if there's not a lot riding on it financially or otherwise. So I had finally got it rigged up. It's actually uh, in working order. And right now it's on top of the RV charging, charging because the sun's still out, it's charging the battery. I hope you enjoy this week's video. It is three o'clock in the afternoon on Labor Day Monday. And that is the sun in Las Vegas, Nevada. And if you look, the whole sky is just hazy and just covered with a haze. And apparently that is the effect that the wildfires are having on Las Vegas as the smoke moves in. The sky's been like this all day long. It's like a light cloud cover, but it's actually haze. It's actually smoke. This is the new solar panel that uh, we purchased for our, for our RV. We're gonna be putting it into storage and um, I'm really concerned that we'll lose our battery uh, with it sitting in storage uh, when it's here at the house. It's plugged in constantly. That's the that's the cord going back. What I wanted to show you is I rigged up this suction cup, and that's a real heavy duty suction cup. But those are uh, hose clamps. I think they're the five inch hose clamps, and so they're strapped to the suction cup on the non lever side. The lever is actually in the closed position. There you go, and they're strapped on there, strapped on to the mounting bracket of the actual uh, solar panel. And then when I put this, I'm actually gonna try to put it on the king pin box. When I put this on the king pin box, I'll just flip that lever, the suction cup activates and it should hold it on. And then I will run a um, bicycle lock through here. And my hope is while it's at the storage facility, nobody will be able to um, mess with it or take it so that is the plan you can see that green flashing light that's because i've had it outside literally for about four minutes and that's telling me that it's getting juice um, which is kind of cool anyway it's a smart charger it won't overcharge your battery um, and hopefully in the position or the location where i plan to put it it will keep my battery charged I'll, i'm going to test it over the next few days to make sure it gets enough sunlight in that position that I'm going to have it in. Well, there you go. I have found that I have to put this on the back of the RV. And the reason for that is the kingpin box apparently has a big dip in it in the sheet metal and the suction cup would not adhere properly. I actually like it on the fiberglass side of the RV. So I think this is a better scenario it'll be at the back of the rv technically you would have this up on a roof you would have this in direct all day sunlight i am hoping i can make it work without going through that iteration i'm hoping i can make it work 
on the side. It does show that it is trying to charge. I've got a green flashing light on the back of the panel there, which I showed you a moment ago. Here is my other problem though. This outlet, um, I'm sorry, this connector does not work with my extension cable. And the problem lies with the actual extension cord that I bought. So I've got to go see if I have, can get an adapter to make this work properly with that cable. So that's my next move is to get an adapter. But I thought in the meantime, I would leave this out here, uh, suction cup to the back of the camper. And the reason for that is to make sure that the suction cup is going to hold over a several day period. So uh, that's my plan right now is to leave this suctioned out here. This is the underside of the solar panel. And what I'm gonna do now is these hose clamps right here. I'm going to loosen them and slide them all the way down to this end. That's a much narrower profile down there, which is okay. I tried to put them up by this heavier apparatus up here at the, I'm sorry, this heavier um, point, uh, mounting point, because it's, it's a heavier metal. But I'm now gonna slide them all the way down here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because of the location, the new location where I wanna place this, um, it doesn't have enough clearance. So you'll, I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but for right now, I'm gonna loosen up these hose clamps and slide this down. Once I get this slid down because of the lower profile, my bike lock, which I'm having trouble fitting through these loops, these loops when this is closed, um, the bike lock what, cable will actually go through there and then it will secure to my um, my kingpin box uh, just as a safety precaution. You know, it's the old adage, if somebody really wants something, they're gonna take it. But I'm hoping that nobody takes this puppy. Anyway, it'll be in storage. There are cameras everywhere, so I think it will be okay. Uh, but I know this, I've gotta get my batteries charged. So now, as you can see, I have slid my hose clamps up to this far end to allow me the clearance I need when I mount it. And that literally took me like three minutes. So I'm um, very pleased about that. Normally I would take some kind of shears and cut those off, but they're good enough the way they are right now. I've decided to conduct a test. And um, so I, I mounted the solar panel with the suction cup and I'm running the cord from the solar panel, the wiring, into the camper. And you'll notice that I am not using the outside outlet. I do have the adapter for that to connect it outside. However, I get a fault whenever I do that. So I'm gonna have to trace down that wiring probably this weekend and see if it runs to the battery properly. So you can see right here, I'm getting a red flashing LED. The red flashing LED means that the solar panel is ready to charge, but guess what? It's not getting enough sunlight because there is no sun right now because we've got a smoke covered valley here. So my hope is tomorrow when the sun comes out, you'll be able to uh, see a green light here. Hi, so I uh, just wanted to take a little break here and ask you, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. We appreciate it. And of course, um, YouTube likes it. Yep. Please share, ask questions. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We love having you here. So uh, my plan was to use a suction cup, a real heavy duty and actually kind of expensive suction cup to hold the satellite dish, excuse me, satellite dish, to hold the solar panel to the side of the RV here, knowing it wouldn't get the best sun, but it would get hopefully enough sun to charge the battery. So I went ahead and put the, the um, solar panel up here and um, was doing my test on it. And if you look right here, you'll see that my test was not successful and that my suction cup, my expensive suction cup, did not hold the solar panel onto the side of the rig. So now I have a whole new plan. And you know, you know I like this stuff. I've talked about it before. I like playing with stuff and trying to rig it and trying to make it work. So that didn't work. So now 
the solar panel is going to go up on top and it's going to get battened down to the ladder. I'm going to put it off to one side of the ladder so that you can still access the roof from the ladder on the rig, but it's, I'm going to strap it to the ladder using the suction cup. Hopefully it will suction to the roof of the RV. And then I'll use these as my safety net in case the suction cup gives way again, like it, like it did. Well, I am back with you. And here's the uh, solar panel. So I still have the um, suction cup attached to it, as I told you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the suction cup. So now the, uh, the idea here is to put this thing in such a position that I can activate the suction cup and strap it to my ladder. So here goes the, here goes the plan of that. But I, there's something about having it right here at the end of the RV where I can get to it if I want, need to check something or check it out that uh, makes a lot of, a lot of sense to me. So still gonna try to try to make this work somehow with this thing. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. The current setup that I have here, I I can strap it and. Uh, and my hope is that the straps will hold it in place and won't let it do anything stupid. There it is. I've got it mounted to my to my um, to my ladder. Um, so it's strapped onto the ladder. I have to tighten it down just a little bit more, which I will do. Um, but that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it according to plan. So the suction cup did not stick to the uh, rubber roof. I thought that might be an issue, might be a problem. So I kind of plan to do these straps all along. Um, I will check it for a while when we go down the road after we you know, pull over to park and stuff. I will climb up here and look it over and make sure it's doing okay. But uh, this way I didn't have to drill into my roof and I didn't have to use adhesives to glue it down to my roof. However, um, because it is strapped to the ladder, it does block the ladder off pretty good. You won't be able to access the roof with this ladder. So I'll always have to use an extension ladder of some kind, but it'll get me going and it will do what I need it to do. Since we're gonna be in storage, we need to um, get our battery under charge constantly so that we don't you know, burn out or lose our battery. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the rest of the installation, but I did wanna show you that I pretty much have it battened down to the ladder. And like I said, I will be checking on the straps occasionally. It's not as tight yet as I want it to be, but I'm losing daylight. So I wanted to show you that this is pretty much the position that it's gonna be in, both going down the road and of course when we're parked. Okay, so this is the solar panel connector all, all connected up. So you can see here, I've got my two cables that are coming off of the satellite dish right now. And I had to use an adapter to step those down so they're, they marry together with this adapter right here. Then, looking at red to red wire here, uh, it looks like my polarity could be reversed. So I'm gonna start off with this little gadget, which is a polarity reverser. So it gets my red cables back in line with each other. So I plug that in and then I plug this in. And if you can see, both of the reds are back in line together, which is what I want. I could still have a problem, so I'm still gonna have to double check the polarity, but I'm thinking this adapter will solve my problem for me. And then all of that connects in after past, just past the adapter, all of that connects in to the solar plug that goes in the outlet on the rig. You apparently can't check your battery or any of your tank levels, and it kind of makes sense if you have the disconnect switch in the off position, basically that isolates the battery completely so that uh, nothing will be draining on the battery while you're sitting parked. 
So I'll go shut that off again because when we put it in storage, um, I don't want anything to work against the solar panel that's up on the roof. But uh, as you can see right here, it's showing that it's, uh, it's fully charged. Now, I did have the solar panel on it for a while, so that may have kept it charged. Plus, I had it isolated. I had that switch off, so nothing was draining on it while it sat there. I'm gonna go flip that switch off. I'm gonna show you a final walkthrough of my connections and what I did. So let's start with the connection at the, at the rig. You can see right here that this plugs in. This plugs into the, to the rig. There's an outlet built in for it. And so you wanna give it a pretty good push in there because um, it's stiff and it tries to lock in with that little button. Coming down here, I did use the polarity reverser and I had to. So you can see the two red cables are in line and that's thanks to the polarity reverser, which is right there. So that's good, that's good news. My polarity is correct, I checked it and I'll show you how in a moment. Coming down here, we have the adapter that is connecting to the main cable and that runs to the back of the rig to the solar panel. So the cable runs along there and it's real messy right now because I just got it installed. I will tuck it in back behind the tires even when we're parked in storage. I'll kind of try to hide it under the rig a little bit and secure it a little bit. But that cable runs alongside the RV and it comes to the back. You can kind of see it there on the ground. And it is plugged into the, um, the actual solar panels. This cable here going up, that goes up to the solar panel. That's the one I'm gonna twist tie to the, um, to the ladder just to secure it. Anyway, so that's connected to that. And then to check the polarity, the actual solar panel, you can see it from the ground has to have a red light flashing on it, which is very difficult to see from here. So let me try to give you a zoomed in shot. I can see it with my naked eye down here on the ground, but I don't know if you can see it on the, if it's registering on the video, I hope it is. If the red light on the LED is flashing rapidly, that means that the solar panel is getting proper sunlight and it is actually producing power. That power is transferring from the panel and it's coming all the way down the, the cabling and going up front to the battery. I have now turned on my isolation switch on the battery. So the battery is sitting with no draw on it. It is only getting power from the sun. And the good news, that little red flashing light that I tried to show you, I tried to show you, will turn to green. The little red flashing light that's saying, hey, I'm giving you power, I'm getting plenty of power from the sun and I'm giving you power, that little red flashing light will turn to a solid green light whenever the battery is fully charged and the panel is not feeding it any more juice. Once the battery trickles down a little bit and loses some of its charge just from sitting idle, which is what batteries do, which is what kills them, once that happens, that light will start flashing red again and it'll come come back to telling us that it is once again feeding power to the solar panel very pleased with this goofy little install of mine i am not an expert but at least i have it rigged up it's ready to go and my battery won't die while my while my uh, rv is sitting in storage hey if you have any questions or comments please be gentle but if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below Hey, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and the subscribe button and even the share button if you have a mind to. We can always use new members with our community, so the subscribe button is important for that. Also, we may not be with you next weekend because we've got a couple of household moves coming up. We're moving Donna's sister out of our house and into her apartment. And then the following weekend, we are moving out of our current home and into our new home. So we're gonna try to get a video in there or two, uh, a couple of episodes for you, but um, we may get a little rocky uh, going down that road. So we'll do our best though. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time.